pointing this way is much better. Can get up there. So we're here on a new plot of land that Gominga is considering uh, purchasing for conservation. We're actually on the edge of it. We're approaching the forested area. But we've just walked for half an hour through a recently deforested area that was cut down for naranjilla, which is a fruit that's popular, it's consumed here. And it's just really surreal to be, you know, we spent the last week and a half in beautiful primary pristine forest and that's what this used to be and now we've just walked through this and you can see the absolute devastation what we are doing today it's uh, getting um, a visit uh, it's a hike to see first how is the cover of uh, forest vegetable vegetation cover. Second, to analyze how is the situation with neighbors. And third, uh, to double check the map projection. We have the, uh, the legal papers of people. We check on the municipality, we check all the uh, legal records, but also we need to make a double check to the field and we need to check boundaries and uh, river names, all this stuff. At this point, we visit the property we have a fast um, um, baseline about what are the birds that are surrounding. There are common species, there are some like species that show us that this is a primary forest. We check for uh, big trees or evidence of logging. And yeah, that's, that's the main thing. But now with the Cali uh, knowledge, we're going to fly a drone and we will have a search of all this area and we can have a good idea more in detail about the cover. We are going to climb the mountain until this mountain ridge and we can see close to the of the deforested area and from this point we will have a full view of the valley. You will see the Golondrinas uh, mountain and how this place is uh, located. I will double check with the GPS uh, point to re allocate um, the boundaries and we will analyze with the satellite images about the cover. So that's the situation that we are doing. We're flying, I was flying, and it started giving some strange image transmission issues. And normally that's not a problem, they just sort of blip, blip over, but it's gone. It's just completely gone. It, uh, it did it a few times and we thought it might be magnetic interference with, with some of our other gear. So I was standing like alone, separate, and then it just disconnected and it was, it had just gone past the return to home capability where normally I'd just fly back line of sight. And so that means that it's just landing in the spot where it disconnected and normally that wouldn't be so bad, but we're talking about potentially primary cloud forest. So we have coordinates. Javier and the landowner have gone off as quickly as possible to see if they can find it. Um, ah! <laughs> I should have been filming that. Está bien. It's perfect. Okay, it was, I was without cell phone to get a picture. But there was a huge fig tree and this guy landed just on one of the sides of the tree. It landed. It landed. Yeah, there's no crashing. I only found a couple of mosses on one of the... One of the fronts, oh and God. that was all. Uh, I, I was starting to try to see. Kali, here I am. <laughs> but yeah, it was such a big adventure, and the way back also was another adventure. It was so hard. <laughs> it was so hard.